just made a sale on Facebook Marketplace with the new shipping option. I sold this hair dryer to somebody who lives all the way up north in New York and I live all the way down south in Florida. So I'm gonna tell you where to look to see if you made a sale because I didn't really get notified like that. I kind of ran into it and I'll see you after the intro. <laughs> What's going on guys welcome to the video like I said I just made a sale on Facebook marketplace using the new shipping method so this hair dryer okay I'm gonna show you where do you have to look because I didn't really get notified so I feel like the Facebook shipping option is still kind of buggy it doesn't give you the ability for them to supply you a shipping label you have to do that on your own so on this video, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna share with you everything that I'm gonna do to put this in a box and ship it to the buyer. But before, if you're new to my channel, my name is Latin Total, and I do a weekly Amazon gift card giveaway. All you have to do to participate is be subscribed and leave a comment. Last week's winner is. <laughs> now, I'm gonna use, you know, I'm gonna use this with the Facebook mobile app. Okay, I'm not gonna do everything through the PC but you can do it with the PC or with the mobile but for this video just gonna do it with the mobile so first thing you're gonna do is that you're gonna go to Facebook on your phone and then you're gonna hit the Facebook marketplace icon all the way on the top and then you're gonna hit okay your where there's the little individual shadow um, profile all the way to the left next to sell. I'm gonna click that, and then when it opens up, you can see here under create new listings, you're gonna see a little truck that says shipping orders. And then I noticed that it says one order, okay? It didn't notify me. Later, I went to my Gmail and I found that I had a message from Facebook. But it went to the, the social media tab that no one really, you know, no one really goes there. Everyone goes to their primary inbox. So they should, you know, change that to not get notified through Gmail, but from your app. Let your app give you a notification that you've made a sell through the shipping methods because you have a limited amount of time to provide Facebook with the tracking number. So you're gonna click here where, where it says shipping orders, one order. Okay, and then here you can say waiting to be shipped. You can see here, hair dryer for, from Revive Beauty. I sold it for 15 bucks. Okay, it should by Thursday. So I have till Thursday to provide Facebook with the tracking number. So then you have to click here and now it gives you order details. So you saw all the steps I had to do to get to this place right here. Okay. So it says marked as ship. So you can see here it should by Thursday, December 12th to get paid, to get paid. You gotta ship it within three business days. You'll need a tracking number ready when you mark this item as shipped. Okay. So I have um, two ways to get the, the the shipping label. I'm gonna talk to you about that later on in the video. But if you want, just to correct, how will I get paid? Let's just click that. That's my balance. I'm not gonna show that. All right. You can cancel the order as well. Mark that shipped. So buy information. This is the person who buy your item. You can message them. So that's pretty nice. Shipping address is right below. Okay, so basically this is how the shipping method works on Facebook. Someone will buy your item through their shipping option. They will pay Facebook. But you're not really gonna get notified if you made that sale. You have to every day go in and check shipping orders in the create new listing in your commercial profile. Okay, you have to go literally go look at that. 
because you're not really going to get notified any other way. Okay, so you have to constantly go every day, check on the shipping orders, see if you have an order, click on it, and then see what item you sold. Click on that item, and then you're going to see the buyer's information. Now, with that buyer information, okay, now you need to provide a tracking number. So you have two options in my personal experience selling on OfferUp and eBay and on Amazon and, and on Macari, these other platforms. You can use, okay, PayPal. If you have a PayPal account, you can use PayPal. PayPal will give you a shipping label, not for free, of course, but they'll provide you a shipping label they can put on your package. Or you can package it, take it to the post office, okay? And if it weighs more than a pound, if it weighs more than 16 ounces, you have to send it out as priority mail. Don't get it confused with the flat rate box. The flat rate box is a box they provide that's one price. It doesn't matter how much it weighs. But if your item's not really that, it weighs like a pound or two, then just send it priority mail. Okay, you can't do first class because first class is one pound and under. Anything over a pound with the post office is gonna go priority mail or flat one of the flat rate boxes. If it's not heavy, don't do the, the flat rate, do the priority mail. So you go there, get priority mail, you write down the address and you ship it. If you want to do it through PayPal, okay, PayPal does uh, first class and it does priority flat rate boxes. So if it weighs less than a pound, it'll be easy for you to use PayPal. I made a whole video about how to get your shipping labels from PayPal. I'll put the card on top if you want to go look at that video. All right, if you want to know any of the materials or equipment I use to make this video or to make sales online, I have all the links in the description section below. So you can go ahead and check that out for yourself. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give me a like, make sure you subscribe. And that's it for now. If you want me to make or cover any other topic about selling online, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.